Hello. In this lesson, we'll learn about Fundraise's peer-to-peer -peer features on a campaign site. Peer-to-peer -peer is a highly effective online fundraising strategy. Peer-to-peer -peer campaigns have an overall goal and invite individuals to create their own fundraising pages that will contribute towards this goal. Your supporters can create their own pages, and if you've enabled it, they can personalize their page's top banner or add custom images or videos to their page. When fundraisers share their goal with their friends and family, they grow your organization's reach, which contributes to both brand awareness and donation revenue. Peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers bring in new donors to your campaign, which enables you to reach a larger goal and sets up your organization for future success as you nurture these new donor relationships. Fundraiser's Campaign Site Editor enables you to maximize your campaign impact with peer-to-peer -peer features. There's a lot you can do. Let's just start by creating our site. Sites can be accessed in your platform's side menu. We'll click New Campaign Site. Here, we'll just need to enter a few settings for our new site, including the name, goal, and end date. We'll also customize our URL. We learn more about these settings in another lesson. When creating a site, we can toggle on peer-to-peer -peer settings, but we can also activate peer-to-peer -peer settings anytime after creating our site. So for now, we'll skip this step and go ahead and create our site. Okay, now we've got our brand new campaign site. Let's jump into settings and activate and learn more about peer-to-peer -peer features. You can access your campaign settings in the top bar of your site editor. Inside settings, click the peer-to-peer -peer tab. Here, we can activate and edit our peer-to-peer -peer settings. It's good to know that you can activate or deactivate peer-to-peer -peer settings anytime after creating your campaign. Let's start by toggling peer-to-peer -to -peer on. Great, now we can edit the details about our fundraiser's experience. First, we can enter a default goal amount for a fundraiser. This is the goal suggested when a fundraiser signs up, but of course each fundraiser can set their own custom goal. Next, you can add supporter tags. Tags are helpful to build segmented list of supporters. While there are several ways to build fundraiser segments, it's a good idea to tag supporters who sign up to fundraise for this campaign so you'll always have a record of it easily seen on their supporter profile. You might enter something like your campaign name underscore fundraiser. Tags start with the hash mark and cannot contain spaces. You can learn more about tags at our written documentation. Next up, we can control the visibility or requiredness of contact information fields that can be presented to a supporter who signs up to create a fundraising page. We can also choose to enable team pages. This will enable fundraisers to create and join fundraising teams. Teams can have many members and teams can have their own goal, which the members fundraising pages will contribute towards. An individual who creates a team will be the team admin and will have access to edit the team's page details. An admin can also reassign admin privileges to another fundraiser. Next up, we can empower fundraisers to further personalize their individual pages. Enabling a custom background enables the fundraiser to upload a custom banner image, which will replace your template's image. Enabling the media grid enables fundraisers to add images and videos to the body of their fundraising page. It's good to know that all fundraisers can personalize their page's title, appeal text, and profile image regardless of these additional settings. You can also add custom questions to the fundraising signup flow. For example, if your campaign includes a free t-shirt for fundraisers who raise over $500, you can add a question for the fundraiser's t-shirt size here. And finally, commitments. Commitments are an advanced feature that is only used for specific types of peer-to-peer -peer campaigns where the fundraiser is required to commit to raise a certain amount. If the fundraiser does not raise that amount by a set date, the fundraiser's payment method will be charged the remainder. You might use commitments if you're running service trips and your participants can fundraise for the cost of the trip, but are of course still required to cover the cost whether or not they can fundraise the full amount. When you toggle on commitments, the fundraiser will be required to enter a valid payment method during the signup flow. You can set the commitment amount and the date this amount should be raised by. When new commitments are created, you'll be able to manage them in the transaction section of the platform. You can learn more about commitments at our knowledge base. For now, it's good to know that in most cases, you'll want to leave commitments off. Great, now that we've toggled on peer-to-peer -peer features and configured our settings, let's click save and jump back into our editor. With peer-to-peer -peer enabled, you'll notice a few new options in your editor. First, your buttons will now have a new action type called Fundraiser Signup. When this is selected, the button will launch the Fundraiser Signup flow. 
And second, you'll see that you have access to more pages in your editor page selector. These additional pages are important for your campaign and can be customized just like your homepage. We learn more about customizing page templates in another video, so for now, we'll just want to take a quick peek at each page. First, the login page. This page template is used for both the login screen and the fundraiser signup flow. Next up, you can edit your fundraiser's page template. This is what your fundraiser's page will look like. It's important to remember that your fundraiser will also be able to customize their name, page title, appeal text, and profile image, so this section includes placeholder content. The team page is very similar to the fundraiser page, but with one extra important section. You'll want to make sure that your team page includes a section that lists all of the team members. And finally, we also have access to edit the fundraiser search page. This is where your site visitors can search fundraisers or teams. All right, that's the basics for peer-to-peer -peer configurations on your campaign site. But before we go, two big tips. First, we've got a homepage template for peer-to-peer -peer campaigns. If you're just getting started with peer-to-peer, -peer, consider starting with this template. You can apply a page template from the Page Actions menu and then select the peer-to-peer -peer campaign template. You can learn much more about applying page templates in another lesson. And the second tip, when you activate peer-to-peer -peer features on your site, you also activate a complete set of email notifications for this campaign. These email notifications can be sent to your fundraisers based on the activity on their page. We highly recommend watching our lesson that covers peer-to-peer -peer emails next. Okay, that's it for this lesson. See you soon.